Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. Happy camping! It's summer. When we were in quarantine, camping was on my mind. I feel like we missed out on trips and the next camping trip that came up that was actually going to happen, it had me kind of thinking about it all the time. And so I started thinking about fashion because that's kind of the girl I am. I love fashion. Always have loved fashion. And my normal go-to is dresses. I wear dresses in the summer and I wear dresses in the winter with leggings. It's really about comfort. I mean, they are cute, but so comfortable. If everybody knew, they'd all be wearing dresses. But dresses aren't great for camping. And it's just, you know, you want to go hiking, you want to sit around, dresses, they just don't fit. And I thought, I just don't know what to bring to the camping trip. We uh, had a family camp planned and I started going through my wardrobe to see what I had for camping and it was really meager because I put all my emphasis on dresses. So I thought I'm going to buy some camping clothes, <laughs> just camping clothes. And I started with, um, I started with a graphic tee that I saw on my Instagram and you see those and you're like, I don't know if you're like me or not. Can I trust that? Like, is that going to be a ripoff? Is it going to be a crap? Is it going to be like, you know, one of those stories where you look what I thought I was buying and look what I got. And so I was like, I'm reluctant. I'm reluctant to press the button and buy those things. And I've bought a couple things that way, but and I haven't been burned, but a little leery, you know? So I took a chance on this one t-shirt I kept seeing it kept you know if you if you hover on it for half a second they think you're interested and it was cute it had an American flag so it's kind of got this um gray but it's camo it's a little bit of a camo print very very slight camo print and I just thought I had to have that shirt so I ordered it and there it is and you know what super soft if you know anything about what I like to wear it's got to be soft so that kind of sent me on the journey of hey I'm gonna wear just t-shirts t-shirts and jeans so I have a few jean shorts and a couple pairs of jeans and I mostly wear yoga pants and leggings but these t-shirts will go with any of that so I got this one and this one was off of Instagram and it's called love and faith I think I will put a link and I, they are in California so my biggest fear is to order from China and not know it because it takes forever to get here and it may not be what you think it is and of course like everything we're buying is made in China I wonder where this is made designed and printed in the USA designed and printed so probably made in China but I was buying it from America so that was good so I felt like I would get it in time for my trip so I ordered that and then I started searching Amazon for graphic tees and it was quite a journey let me tell you because there's no easy way to say I want camping because literally the word camping has to be in their description or you're not going to find a camping shirt so most of my shirts do have the word camping like on them but that's cool right so I love this one it's a really pretty blue and it has some really pretty colors and it says find your road and it has a mountain and a sun and it's just so soft so soft nice and loose and roomy and then I got happy camper I wore this on my trip and my daughter my granddaughters they just love this shirt and I don't like orange so I didn't like it I ended up wearing this the most because <laughs> it went like this well, I'll wear this in the river because I don't like it. I'll wear this when we're doing that because I don't like it. So I ended up wearing it most of the time <laughs> because I don't like it. Now I kind of like it because it's happy camper. And you know, my trailer's kind of orange, so it goes with that. So, and my last shirt is this one. It's not necessarily camping, but it's still a graphic tee. It has, um, I don't know, I'm going to say a dandelion on it. It's super subtle, but I love the color. And again, so soft so soft so I like that one the other thing I wanted was a pair of cargo pants but I only wear soft and stretchy so I didn't want like regular cargo pants because that's not soft and stretchy so I started like putting in search terms like soft and stretchy and cargo pants and I found the cutest the softest the most amazing cargo pants these are it 
oh, I love these. And I want to say they're camping pants, but they were kind of expensive. So I'm not, not wanting to wear them to get down and dirty. I wore them to get to our camping trip. <sighs> but I kind of saving them for good because they're like ex expensive equals dress up, right? But I tell you what, I could just wear these every day, all day long. They're so soft. And I found these on a website called Public Myth. And I am definitely, definitely, definitely getting more stuff from them just for this fabric alone. If I could buy fabric like this, I would just, that's all I would wear. It's that soft. It's that soft. Just awesome. Just awesome. So these fit great. They sell, sell them to you super long with just a cut bottom, like there's no hem. And you cut them to your own height. So if you're a tall girl, these might work for you because they are they were really long. I'm not short and I'm not tall. I'm just under five, six, and they were super long. I cut off like that much. And so if you wear heels or whatever, these would be great. But I wanted them to go with tennis shoes. And I'll show you my tennis shoes next because I got these on DSW. And um, these are the most comfortable tennis shoes. And they have these cute little ribbon ties. So, and, and actually in the sun, they look sparkly. So what can I say? Uh, these are my new favorite tennis shoes. <sighs> and then there's these pants. Now I tell you, I almost didn't buy these pants because they were like more than I would pay for something like this. I think they were like $36 or $42 or something for a pair of leggings. But oh my gosh, look at this pattern. It's so camping. It's camping, but not like funky camping. It's just adorable camping. So I ordered these and I was worried that they were gonna be that China thing and I wouldn't get what I really, I'm not trying to downplay China. It's just, I have had ordered things that just took months to get. I don't know if that's ever happened to you. So I'm kind of leery if it's coming actually from China because this just takes too long. So I wrote to them and I said, what's your return policy? And they said, there is no return, no return. We print them to order. I doubt that that's true. I mean, just, it's just fabric. It's not screen printed or anything. So uh, since I got an answer and it seemed legit and it seemed like it was coming from Canada, I placed the order right away coming from China. So I knew these weren't going to get there in time for the trip and they didn't. Oh, look, there's a Volkswagen bus. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a Volkswagen bus person. That was my car. I've had more than one, more than two, more than three. Yeah, like that. Uh, so I thought, I'll never get them. I'll get them by the end of summer, but not true. I got them pretty much a few days after we got back. So I probably took a week or two to get them. So I am still going to recommend these because they're just so stinking cute. Um, they're that sort of silky fabric, the rayon-ish. They're very stretchy, but I like my fabric to kind of breathe, and this isn't that kind. It's more of that, um, I probably cut the tag out, because that's something I do when I wear stuff. Dang it, I can't tell you what the fabric is because I cut the tag out. Do you do that? I cut the tag out of everything. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea, but tags, I hate them. So uh, I was just going to try some of these on and just show you what they look like. And uh, now I've got a, a bunch of camping fashion. I'm kind of uh, lo still looking like I'm loving these cute little shirts for travel and for trips when I have my camper. And we've got a, a couple more camping trips coming up soon. So I have fashion for my camping. And um, I'm going to find some more t-shirts and definitely get another pair of these pants. So let's do a little try on, shall we? These pants are so soft, so soft, so comfy. They're like pajamas, literally. They've got these really cute pockets in the back, which I just love, 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 love. And they have another one on the leg, not both legs, just one. And um, nothing right here, that would have been nice to have some there, and they got a little tie. And there's, it's just the waistband is super, super soft and comfy, not tight at all. You can make it tighter with the tie, but I'm like just so comfy in these pants. I hemmed them because I thought I might, I'm always making things too short, so I could just cut them. You just could cut them without a hem. And I'm wearing my cute tennis shoes. So there's my cargo pants. I don't want to take them off. <laughs> 
Happy Camper! This isn't your normal t-shirt fabric. It's super soft, super soft. All t-shirts should be this soft. Another super soft t-shirt. Isn't that a pretty color though? I mean, they had other colors, I'm sure, but this, I love blue. I love this shirt. Another soft, it's not as soft as the other two, but still super soft. All of these shirts I have washed. I don't dry my clothes for the most part. I hang to dry, but they've all been washed. Camping pants, literally camping. They've got campfire sticks. I don't know, Volkswagen, fishies, a fox, a tent, bear. And they're really comfy. I, all of these I bought true to size. I bought my size and everything fit pretty good. Oh, this is the dandelion shirt. So I ask you, why can't camping fashion be cute? Is there a rule that it has to be not cute or not thought out? Look at my camper and you'll see a lot about my personality. I love fashion and I love color and I love fixing things and making things cuter. Why wouldn't I want my fashion to be cuter when I'm camping? So now it is. And um, definitely looking for more. I have some really cute hats and um, this could be a whole thing, right? So let me know what you think and if there's any camping fashion I need to look at because I would love to see your links and uh, share with me. I'm on Facebook every day. So if you do want to come find me and see what we're up to, I'd love to connect with you for sure and see where you're traveling, camper stuff, sewing stuff. That's what I'm into. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my online camping fashion haul. Thanks for watching. Bye now.